about maggots. Only one of them is worthy of being treated as a warrior. The one they call Angel. Still defiant, Ganotero. If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilorati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. <laughs> the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. in peace. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. The wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespis off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Anywhere from Angel? None. Is that the official line? I know how much she means Daddy. somebody. Daddy! How good is it, man? Table. All right. Excuse me, sir. Did you say the victory? Is there something wrong with your hearing, Colonel? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignment is open to debate, Colonel. Welcome to the stream, man. Realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. I hope you're having a good day. Sir, I didn't mean to suggest that the victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory. Hey, there we go. Escape. Escape lets me... Pretty good. Main terminal. I forget. Oh yeah, now I remember. There we are. Help me. 
Eh. Okay. Well, that's... Hang on a sec. Big... And a little... Move some stuff around real quick. There, that's better. Okay. So I think last time we pretty much finished talking to everybody currently. <laughs> now we're just walking around. I think we need to go to mission briefing, probably. Back in the elevator! Okay. Living level, bridge level, bridge level, right? Or is that where I just was? I, that's probably where I just was, wasn't it? God damn it. Back of the elevator! Okay. Uh, flight level then. Back to Wing Commander, everybody. Back to the adventures of, uh... Luke Commander, man. I literally watched the intro and it said his name. It was like Blair, something Blair. And I cannot for the life remember it. Because every time I look at him in a space thing, he's just Luke Skywalker to me. Briefing. Here we go. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. One of our tracking stations report Karathi activity in these regions. I'd like you to run a patrol through there, sweep the areas. The station's report is sketchy. You might encounter some sort of Karathi cap ship. Oh. Go to it, Colonel. Will I be able to take that in just a small fighter? I, I guess so, we'll find out. These are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Oh, I actually have uh, other co-pilots I can take now. I can take Nine Foot Catman. I can take uh, Sketchy My Ass. I can take Ramblin' Gambler Man. I can take uh, Easy Going Music Player Man. I could take Biff from Back to the Future. Or, uh... I could take Racists Against Cat People, lady. Biff just... Biff keeps grabbing his junk. Howdy, Cole. Uh... Let's see... <laughs> he just freeze frames and ah, grabbing his crotch. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, this is the man. This is the man we want to watch our ass. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed. <laughs> and good luck. All right. Well, let's uh. But here we go. Better not let me die, McFlywalker. Mark Hamill for this game just because he was Luke Skywalker. Uh, let's see if I can remember the button. Okay, yeah. What 
What's your status? <laughs> they can't touch me. <laughs> they can't touch me. <laughs> I can. I can already see it was a good idea to trust this man. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Doctor Smooch. Okay. What's that? What's the Coventry? What's your status? No problems here, Colonel. All right, neat. Sheffield. Victory. Okay, so. Rise, fall, band, your Bubsy emote. <laughs> Fucking like hilarious. Oh, got here. Ooh, I'm just trying to line up in my sights, maniac. Oh, you're probably just trying to stay behind me. That's fine. Okay. Right away area. Autopilot our way over there. Half a seat. <laughs> Party time. What the hell is Dark Hat? Oh. Say goodnight, kitty. You better take this sense of monkeys. Uh -oh. Ready to rock and roll. Yep. Taunted him. <laughs> Taunted him and then blew him out of the air. We're <laughs> assholes like that. Alright, Maniac. Break Get him. Attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Okay. I need my shots. I don't want to waste all of my missiles on every single ship. <laughs> I can, but you're also an asshole who flew right in front of me. So, you know. <laughs> oh, bye. I guess. Eat. <laughs> Good on us. Maniac, yes. <laughs> we took Biff into space with us. Break an attack. Go ahead and start Watch attacking. And learn, Colonel. You know what? Fuck it. Eat a missile. That was too far out of range. Oh wait, that's a transport missile. Help me out here, man. Not possible, Ace. What the fuck? You asshole. You help me out, you son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Oh, yep. I'm getting fucking toasted here. The AI is too dumb to help. <laughs> Shoot your buddy down to establish dominance. Well, he is Biff from uh, Back to the Future, so he probably needs a little bit of a reality check every now and then. Biff, fucking help me, man. Oh, 
Help me out here. Not possible, eh? Okay. Kind of bad at this. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What did I expect from the guy who kept grabbing his crotch? Well, you got me there. Epic space dog fighting. Time to see your vet, kitty. The Kilrathi do not know what vets are. <laughs> Mission objectives accomplished. Really? Do we not need to take down this transport vessel as well? Oh, thanks for the 10 bit chats. Okay, you know what? Look at the size of that thing. I don't think we can take that. Warm on my wing. Not possibly. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll... A landing clearance required. Correct. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Hey, score one for our side. Colonel, you're clear to land. Okay. I can just... Uh, apparently I don't know how to slow down, so... <laughs> don't let the computer handle that. <laughs> Go ahead. Give you a shout-out, Chad's now. My hands free for a second. Oh, you're playing Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition? Right on. How's that been? You really took some hits out there. Your di wife is addicted to watching hoarders now. <laughs> <laughs> think it's fun I played the original 15 and uh pocket edition did look alright you like the chibi art style right on let's go ahead and save work today? Yeah. Martyrs is one of those shows that makes you feel good about yourself. <laughs> so we can look around real quick and see if there's anybody to talk to.
Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Hey, Colonel. Hey. Pull up a chair. Oh, nice to see Yeah, most of the Let people in that order show, here, there's the word something is, there's like a little bit wrong with them. Is that true? Our commandos tell me everything. They're like, I've got to oh, collect all the newspapers since 1984. Pubs. I need them. <laughs> you really like your job, don't you? So I can be I surrounded by the world's news. I gotta give it to you. You really get like to the point. That's like game music. Oh, I never really cared much for gray areas. That's why I do what I do. Either an engine part works or it doesn't. Shane's don't lie. Not as much as people do, anyway. It should be a little hard on people. They gotta pass inspection, same as anything else. Of course, I got certain hours for that. And do we keep this schedule posted, Chief? <laughs> do you? <laughs> Only for a select few, sir. Guess they were flirting with each other. Uh, uh, okay. There's no one in here. We'll go check out one of the other levels. Alright, I'm getting back in the elevator. Much of my home is any other place in this. Go to the bridge. If you're telling someone about how he got a big laugh out of letting the kill Rathy shoot my ass a whole bunch. <laughs> uh, nope, there's nobody. Okay, well. Then I guess we can go attend the next group. Arts type soundtrack. Wouldn't be too far fetched. Because so that's actually Mark Hamill. No, this is actually Mark Hamill. <laughs> like, the people, the guy behind Wing Commander Chris Roberts, he's got some money behind him, man. It, I mean, he's the same dude who's doing the Star Citizen game that'll never come out has had like 900 million dollars poured into it or some shit like that, I don't know. But uh, he threw around some money for some actual real uh, talent. Uh, Tom Wilson, who was Biff from Back to the Future, Mark Hamill, John Rhys Davies, who was Sala and uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Malcolm McDowell, who's been in a number of movies. As cranky old Malcolm uh, McDowell, man. I like to discuss your attitude. Seems you're under the impression you're too good for my crew. Now, I suggest you get to know them. Start There's a lot fine. of good actors in this. Yeah. Is that clear? As a bell, sir. Fine. Let's get down to business, shall we? Confed has a cargo ship loaded with med supplies that must be escorted to this jump point. Now, unfortunately, news of this shipment somehow leaked out, you will undoubtedly come under karate attack. Good luck, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Uh... We take with us this time. Me? Hey, it doesn't do it. Uh, neither does that guy. She just kind of looks away. You point at her and she looks at you. Then Maniac grabs his crotch. <laughs> God damn it. 
Oh, fuck. Uh, let's get a full spectrum here. Let's... Let's take Bagwan, the gambler, man. I want you as my wingman. Dismissed. A wingman. And good luck. Jets redeemed not the bees. Wait, how did that not show up on top of the thing? Damn it. So why is it happening below the winder ca winder window capture? God damn it! Oh, you know what? I know what it is. There we go. There we are. It's my layers. Yeah, it's my layers. I needed not the bees to be at the top. Also, to realize. Okay. My alert box needs to be on top of that too. I've been goofing here. Okay. I gotcha. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> that sounded like someone in the hallway was yelling it. <laughs> I, uh, so, <laughs> I forgot to disable Not the Bees <laughs> yesterday when I stopped streaming. So when I fucking booted up OBS, the very first thing I was greeted with was... <laughs> was the bees. <laughs> Worked really nicely, though. Somewhere in this ship, there's someone being attacked by bees. Uh, okay. I guess we... oh. Oh, hey, we can uh, change our loadout, right. Okay. Medium. Okay. Oh, these are just loadouts, huh? Decoys. Ooh. I don't even know how to watch decoys. Oh god, I'm so bad. Heat seekers. Ah, I think that's what. Yeah. Torpedo. <laughs> I threw away some robots. So glad to be done with Code Veronica. Yeah, I saw that last night, man. Wow, he just acted like he was annoyed and walked away. Okay, so... Oh, we just did the briefing. So let's go into the mission. How long were you poisoned? Before you got to that last save point before the final boss. <laughs> you just sort of. dealing with being poisoned for like. the good last chunk of the game. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Dipping 
poison since she found Claire. You're just dealing with it? Oh shit. Okay. Ajax? Oh, I guess that's the name of, uh... What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Alright. Autopilot not allowed. so far off just autopilot be there game <laughs> what's your status we're sitting pretty sir yeah we're all, yeah, we're all good what's your status no problems colonel jeez ridiculous well I mean Congrats, though, because he still managed to beat the game under those conditions. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Protecting cargo vessel. This is Sheffield. This is the victory. There's the cargo. Okay. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Hardest RE game you've played for sure. Yeah, I'd probably say about the same, honestly. Played through it again. I could knock it out a lot faster. But you don't want to ever touch it again. <laughs> Is this the medical transport if I'm supposed to be protected? Pilot in name. Okay. Cool. We just needed to get close to the ship. Now we just fly and wait for things What's to happen. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Uh, or we can just autopilot to the next segment where we may or may not get attacked. Right? Oh yeah, here we are. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. In your whiskers. Oh, that sounds almost like a... What fucking Alan Rickman threatened to do to uh, help, Robin Colonel. Hood. Mayday, Mayday! Ajax, where the fuck are you, man? Unable to reach mission objective. Did they just blow up? They just blew up the thing. I fucked that mission. 
Also, I just don't have my wingman all of a sudden for some reason. because I can't locate them anywhere. AI is potato in this game. Uh, actually, I think in this case, my... I don't know what happened to my wingman. He just left. have to travel all the way to the end and explain to them why I couldn't keep the medical transport alive. Laser hit one. Penetrator, my wingman. Well, I mean, if he is, he's not here. He's not helping me. Be the last one. Wait, nope, here comes another one. Okay. 
to have better rapid fire on their fire. Actually, kind of thing, but... Where's the button for it? Oh, that's the map. I blew up. Really, Seeker Missiles? I've got Seeker Missiles. It, the game's just kind of weird about when it will actually unlock uh, onto something and when it won't. Oh, I'm sorry. I was uh, dipping into the ground. I'm cool. I'm cool. We're ready to get out of here. I like that there's, like, no collision <laughs> detection for the fucking... Vagabond. Okay, well, he is here. Sheffield. Coventry. I know that's Ajax. Huh. What's your status? Not a scratch on me. Okay, so what happened to you last time then? What? <laughs> Death is coming for me. <laughs> I guess, uh, since Ajax is the gambler, it's just a gamble whether or not he'll be there to help you out. Because he wasn't. <laughs> Unless by some weird thing, he just died immediately at the beginning of the mission last time. And the game never just, just never said anything. Because I never had the option to even talk to him, like, beforehand. I'm out here 5,000. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your status, Carter? Carter? No problems, Colonel. Okay, we're still alive. We're still good. Now that I actually have a wingman, things are fine. We got company. I see that? Break and attack. Here we go. Go get him, Vagabond. Game, he can find it. Like... I saw the way. Okay. Work 
head. Big one. Oh, we got it. Yeah. What's your status? Awesome. No problems, Colonel. I want to be your wingman. Never asked. Be like the ending of uh, Top Gun. You could be my wingman anytime. <laughs> You guys are in my back seat, basically. You're all my wingmen. Vagabond. Vagabond's actually gotten a couple of kills. Did Biff kill, like, anybody? Yeah, he definitely did, because I know I didn't clear that last mission by myself. This <laughs> like, die on a desert. <laughs> Thanks for the escort, Colonel. Initiating jump sequence. You would never have ended up on that desert planet if you didn't get so close to a fucking giant robot with arms. Okay, so I guess. What's your status? Not a scratch on me. Oh, good on you, man. Uh, we need. It's a Sheffield. Need the victory. That's Vagamon. Can I look at the big ship though? I need clearance. Need clearance, TCS victory. Well, I guess the colonel's on a roll. You're clear to bring it on home. All right, cool. But no, I won't leave you to die on a desert planet. will be upset that you ruined my chance for an alternate path, though. <laughs> Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> okay. You own all the Wing Commander games? I own the first four, I believe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. Okay. That's weird then. Time to get naked right here in the flight deck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this. Okay, so 
lift. Let's uh, walk around and talk to people. The wheelchair ramp, how typical. I don't think there's a, a lot of stairs in. Or maybe I just haven't been paying attention. make these places with a whole lot of stairs. I oh, know, just the barista, I guess, here all by himself. What a lively place this place is. There's never anybody in the rec room. Oh, this music. Oh, this is what sounds like LucasArts music. Yeah. I can see it. It does make me feel like I'm playing a point-and-click adventure game. Totally. Yeah, let's go up to the bridge. I think Vagabond might have, when he was actually present, did about the best out of uh, any of them so far. I forget how Will Hobbs did as my wingman. But I think we faced less enemies and Biff still seemed like he wasn't helping nearly as much. Maniac, I guess. Alright, let's go to the briefing, I guess. The briefing. There we go. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Convent civilian transport ship is moving through the Ocean so area. She's going to need transport an escort. Ships. Ships. Special yeah. Defense <laughs> Intel reports that Karathi are testing a new cloaked missile. Confed has codenamed these new weapons skippers because they apparently skip in and out of cloak every few seconds to maintain contact with the target. Now, you can see them one second, then they're gone the next. There are a lot of civilian lives at stake here, girl. This sounds like a mission where... I'll do my best, Captain. That... I'm sure you will. Ah. Uh, transport's going to get blown up so no matter what I do. these are the mission objectives. Uh... Oh, and Stop a thing. new prototype invisible missile that you can only see sometimes. Uh, it's kind of weird to anybody else that, out of all these people, they made the only, like, uh, person of color, like, racist towards the cat people. Like, I would expect it from Biff. This dude grabs his nuts, but it's like... That's weird to me. I'm not gonna get... politics or anything like that. I just thought it was weird. Cobra? I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed? And good luck. <laughs> we only see them at night, in space, mostly. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. I get what you're referencing there. I've seen the moving picture or two. Base and try not to get it. Game over, man. Game over. I want you to take off. 
<laughs> yeah, the mouse sensitivity always <laughs> just spins me right around. I <laughs> will air ramp him. Oh, you mean to get into the uh, ships? Oh, they just do you like they did R two D two. They just like pick you up and place you into the seat. Okay, do I have my wingman? What's your status? I'm just fine, sir. Okay, there's the Coventry. I guess we're uh, getting out there to meet. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Okay. All right, Cobra. Breaking attack. Go get him. Going after. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant, you know. <laughs> not being picked up like a garbage can. Being picked up like a prize in a crane game. And being placed gently into the prize slot. Oh, Jesus, she's already taken down two. God, okay, you know what, Cobra? Fuck, that was her bad. Bad attitude, great fucking pilot, though. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I just got <laughs> five bits from trash can chat. <laughs> Oh, come on, Cobra. Was that one mine? I think that one was mine that time. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for the five bits, though. Okay. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Okay, we're all good. That's a uh, autopilot not allowed. I'm probably too far from it. From dude. It's not fire missiles of the thing we're trying to protect. Two Ted bits. Fox, help me! Ah! Slippy crash again. I talk the lid open as close as the most welcome. <laughs> uh, hang on, Zero. I don't have a way of uh, pausing this as far as I know. So when I'm done with the mission, I'll. Huh? Break an attack. Negative, sir. What's your status? I'm just fine, sir. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll shut you out. <laughs> Enemy sighted, Colonel. You're 
not the garbage can sheds. You're the lovable Sesame Street character, Oscar the Grouch, who lives in the trash can. <laughs> Oh! I should have told her to break an attack earlier. Or wait, no, she was already out there. She's got it. <laughs> oh. oh, I see what you're after. <laughs> on your tail, Fox! Go barrel! Okay. Let me take this moment. Yeah. I feel like I trust you guys, though. I... Oh, oh yeah, you were playing the final, the pixel remaster of Final Fantasy One. Right on. Yeah, I could probably mod you guys. Okay. Yeah, let's fly out of pixely. Were you actually playing like? Ah, oh, fuck. Like actual Final Fantasy 1? It's weird because that one is so, like, you know, kind of generic, but it's honest, it's one of my favorites. 6 is still, like, my absolute favorite, but I do like 1 as well. What happens when you need to pee and you're on a space mission? And you know, you basically build little pee pouches into the spacesuits, usually. And that's how real astronauts do it. Where is. Oh, wait, that's right. We're going out to pee. And poop. Enemy sighted, Colonel. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not a. Break an attack. Going out. I'm not the one who designed those suits, I don't... I don't know. I assume that they do have ways of collecting the bodily waste inside the suit. We'll throw you for a relief if you need to poop. Okay, okay got one. Jesus, Cobra's bringing them down one by one. Fucking Christ. Just 
status. No problems, Colonel. Okay. I'm mostly just lucky if I feel like I land a hit on these things. <laughs> ass. what space tailgating looks like. Why not play Elite Dangerous or No Man's Sky? Because to be honest, these are not my, not really my cup of tea for the most part. I was interested in Wing Commander because I liked the idea of the, uh, Full motion cutscenes with like Mark Hamill in them in it. And I, I am having fun. This is an enjoyable game. But space shooters like this are not, not really up my alley. <laughs> I'm not great at them. Platformers and like RPGs are like the thing I'm probably the best at. Okay. Oh, the transport. <laughs> we left the transport way out there. Will you think we'll ever see Star Citizen come out or Scam Citizen? Only if somebody steps in to actually take control of the project from Chris Roberts. Unable to reach mission objective. Because excited, Colonel. from all I hear is that game suffers from feature creep. Like the dude wants to put everything in. Like literally everything. And they don't have enough money, time, and manpower to do that. He is kind of the problem. He's got great ideas, but he needs someone to, like, rein him in and tell him, like, no, that's too many things. Give the word, sir. I've seen, like, interviews from, uh, from people in the game industry, and what they say a lot of the times is that a game is never complete, or finish. It's never complete. It's just finish. It's just in a finished state. You can always put more in game. But, you know, at some point you have to tell yourself, that's too much. We have to stop it here, or else this game will never ship. And they're not doing that with Star Citizen. So it probably will never come out. <laughs> Engaging this thing. Peter Molyneux means well on like Chris Roberts. Yeah. Peter Molyneux lies, but like honestly, his games still come out very featureful and like there's a lot to them. There's just not everything he ever promised. I 
tell you the story of how Microsoft interfered with Fable 3. Yeah, Fable 3 is an interesting story because... I don't really know what happened with it, but I do know that... That game felt like a lot less than it could have been. So is the transport still out here? His best game must be black and white. I never played black and white. I know of it though. Wonder, did we end up losing the transport? I think we lost the transport. <laughs> Break an attack. Go get him. of the Fable games. Uh, I absolutely love the first one. I think the second one's pretty good. And I think the third one, the only thing, the only really cool thing the third one does is actually giving you not entirely black and white choices. Like, not entirely good and evil. Really examining that whole shades of gray type thing. I think that's what Fable 3 does best. Everything else it does pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, Blaine White. We're talking about, well, we started talking about Chris Roberts and how uh, Star Citizen will never come out. And then it kind of went into uh, talk about Peter Molyneux. scale version of that, you know, that looks pretty good, honestly. One was the best in your eyes? Yeah, I agree. I liked one of those. Two was a nice little middle ground between three, and three was... I don't really think much of three except for the choices. Like, literally right now, Cobra is doing all the fucking work. I don't think I've shot down a single kill wrath in this one. Oh, wait, you know what? I think I might have been responsible for blowing up the core line. You'll fight for the right of trash cans around space. Jump buoy. Okay. Your biggest complaint is none of those games are long enough. This mission is really long. Break an attack. Is that a Corvette down there? Oh, these are. I mean, the first game got a whole expansion that added like another chunk to the game. Pretty good. There's a pro guy. Pretty good. I think I'm out of missiles to deal with that. Two crashes on every Xbox so 360. I don't. Who's 
There we go. Full guns. This is what I need. Able to twice in our library. What? shots and then you get shot in the ass a ton. Godly sunny outside. <laughs> Shooting overpowers my mic. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Turn it down a bit. Okay. That should be better. Ray in the background. Alright, that should be fine. Shoot and talk. Alright, well. Right, get him, Cobra. All right, cool. Well, as long as we got a good uh, audio balance, then. Help me out here. Negative, sir. <laughs> What's your status? Not bad, Colonel. Okay. Well, that's. I guess that makes one of us then. 
heard Milo attracted some creepy people and that's why it was cancelled. What's Milo now? I actually don't know. <laughs> Is that a Peter Molyneux project? Oh, ask the AI boy. Oh, it's one of those teach the AI. Yeah, those never end well. Oh, was that the one where, like, they put it out there on the internet and within a day, fucking weird people got uh, the AI, like, addicted to porn or something like that? I remember hearing something about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like never fucking oh shit crowdsource your shit like that on the internet Free clearance TCS victory damn those skippers are a bitch aren't they sir well, as soon as you now we're jumping into the supposedly peaceful tomato system if you believe what HQ says and all we gotta do is babysit this pilot in his new test rig yeah I guess we couldn't save the fucking Transport, or maybe we could. I don't even know when it got blown up because it didn't make a sound. Like, companies need to learn that you don't go, oh, hey guys, ah, uh, we're thinking of a new flavor for our product. Ah, uh, we'll go to the internet and ask them what the name of our new product should be. Top answer is Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> Lucky you made it back in one piece. Or like, oh man, we'll put an AI on the internet and it'll learn from people talking to it and then, you know, uh, it'll grow and uh, everything will be cool and then within a day, it just craves porn. Attracted pedos. Yeah, we can never have nice things. Heard of the singularity and artificial general intelligence? Uh. Isn't like AGI kind of like artificial intelligence, but it's software limits what it can learn so that it can't get anywhere near sentience or anything like that? expecting my tech debriefing I caught some of the incoming radio major how long have you carried that flash handle since my first day at Academy I don't think you should ever apologize for sporting a little style that baby still classified folks you think you could keep your people at bay a while Colonel Christopher Blair ah I read about you and I cloud that scientists want to eventually sink us all up to shared intelligence that we can only utilize and be I have no idea what the guy's saying. This kid's a smart ass. He's definitely kind of a flashy asshole. But I mean, he is in that position for a reason. It's true. This kid's a smart ass. Also, I don't think we have any right to, like, throw judgment at this guy when we just lost a transport full of people. Good ones. Maybe someday kids will read about you. So he's right there in the flight control room.
All right. Uh, oh, we can't go straight to uh, the next briefing. Guess we'll pick out some of the... See what's going on on the living level. Are you guys enjoying this, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting for me, but... I think the most interesting parts are... Okay. Fair enough, then. <laughs> yeah. It's alright. I don't have... I do have a grasp of a good grasp of the flight controls now. Just not very good at it. Gunnery control. How long have I been able to go in here? Maniac and Flint. Like the live action cutscenes are easily the most interesting part for me. <laughs> you like these mist like elements? They ought to shoot that kid, if you ask me. At least strap him to one of my thrusters on the next mission. As usual, Maniac, your solution to the problem is brainless. Well, me, I, any chance I get, I'm <laughs> up in the air. I mean, they're going to have to pry my dead carcass out of the cockpit. Zero, summon the bees. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Out of my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! Wow. <laughs> Listen, we were baited. On when the new pilot <laughs> might pull his own weight. Uh -huh. They're right. Play it by the book. Well, Admiral Tolan makes a call. On <laughs> my hands. So, anyways, I was saying, ah, not the bees, they're in my eyes. Ah, all right. <laughs> That's a great story, maniac. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, Hobbs and Eisen. I wish they wouldn't send me these Academy hotshots. Youth and wisdom are rarely combined, Captain. It's still your ship, Captain. He answers only to Admiral Talwin. Colonel, we're under attack. Yeah, the, he answers to the highest authority in the land, <laughs> Cranky Colonel, Malcolm McDowell. Launch all fighters, launch all fighters, it's a <laughs> So anyway, how's your sex it. life? <laughs> oh shit. I guess we gotta go to the flight level. I guess we're not in the peaceful territory. Uh, let me check something real quick. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh shit, okay. Had to click into the window. <laughs> Help me out of here! Sorry, spinning in my seat. Alright. Oh, fuck you, maniac. I don't know why, but I saw the name Mitchell and I read it as Nutshell for a second. I'm like, who the hell is Nutshell? I don't know that pilot. <laughs> Do 
shoot your rocket load? I shot one at him already, but it didn't, like... It didn't connect, and I didn't want to waste a second missile on the same... ...person. I have very limited missiles. <laughs> That's why those Corvettes at the end of the last mission were such a pain to take down. I, I am... S fucking... The... The mouse aiming is not all that great in this. Somebody else shot him down. Thank God I'm here, right guys? <laughs> oh look, it's Ace Pilot <laughs> Mark Hamill. He shot down a total of like three kill Rathi while everybody else did all the hard work. Need an old school joystick. Yeah. I would need like a flight stick for this to be really good, I think. You're probably right. Go missile! Got him. That's one for us. I'm trying to get a second one. Yeah! We can put a third one in our belt today. <laughs> we all have one. They say his mice are more sensitive and have more DPI than back in the day with the old ball mice. You might actually have a point there. Okay, cool. I'm pulling my own weight now. We're starting to do this. Oh, it makes sense. Okay. What's your status, Victory? Wait, oh. Whoops, I asked them for clearance. Can you lower the DPI on your mouse? Uh, I don't know. Hey, Victory, how about letting me in now? Clearance, TCS Victory. Looks like to me. All right, cool. By the way, supposedly we got the best fighter in the game. <laughs> all it did was collect dust on the flight deck. Flashman just set out that firefight in the barracks. Oh, what an asshole! Robotic. <laughs> Clear of this. Oh, it's bad robotic voice. I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. Did I see what? I was only kind of half focused on the screen while I was also looking at chat. No, I didn't see whatever it was. started a little bit late today because like my computer f freaked out I was trying to uh, I started OBS and then I started tried to start Wing Commander 3 which popped up GOG Galaxy at the same time so I was trying to do all three things at the same time my computer froze so I had to restart it took a little bit longer than I wanted to 
He went up the ladder, then the ship started opening up, and he's like, oh shit, went down and looked into the cab. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I think it's gonna have to be it for today. I gotta to start getting ready for work, guys. We're making pretty good progress on this game. And since you guys enjoyed, I guess I'll uh, keep at it. I'm, I'm having a decent amount of fun with it, too. What does that look like? Everything suddenly somebody turned on the fucking lights. Ah! No. Don't need gamma correction. It works just fine. Alright, uh. Come on. Guess we can probably see if we can raid someone. I bet. I'm sure, kite's still going. You can see who else there is, too. But yeah. Hope you all had a good time. Night's also about to end. Oh, huh. He didn't stream for very long th today, then. <laughs> Alright, well. Then I won't worry about it today. Alright, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. We'll continue this another time. Hope everyone has a nice day. I'll see y'all next time. Oh yeah, I will have to check out those clips. <laughs> yeah, it was fun for me too, guys. See ya.